welcome back now let's get straight into doing a bit of scenic work at last on my new layout hope you enjoy it and please leave comments below right so um, now we're going to start on the scenery what I've done is packed underneath to support the uh, rail bed and packed over the top there between the uh, scenic picture and the rails with newspaper and then apply some uh, watered glue um, just to stiffen it all up so basically uh, it's going to be a case of newspaper and glue all the way around there and then once I've got it to sort of uh, when I'm happy with the contours I will then paint over it so I've got a lot to do all around here I'm going to leave this section because I need to put tunnels and roadways in there uh, but I'm going to concentrate on this bit over here get that bit done first because that's the furthest point away from where I can get to and then um, once that's done uh, and painted bushes and trees in then I'm going to work on this section here um, underneath there so I can block all that in as well um, I know this is easy I can do this now but it's this side that I need to do so that I can re or lay the um, third and fourth track down but this is the main bit around here so I'll just crack on with that and I'll see you in a bit so once I've laid the uh, and glued the newspaper down what I've been doing is cutting out strips of cardboard um, and then gluing them down on top of the paper because the paper is just there to bulk and the idea then is that I've got a level surface to grass up afterwards so we'll see how that works out uh, I'll see when I do the grassing so I've now to do a bit, a bit of glue on there place that down on top glue it down and then push it in so that it's level um, and then that will fit in quite nicely so I'll keep going around with that now all the way around except for that corner because I want it to be a little bit rocky that I'll cover with uh, mod rock just to uh, make it a little bit different so it's coming along um, what I've also done is uh, at each stage I've tested the locals make sure you can got the incline so as I'm stuffing the newspaper underneath it's not going to alter the um, angle of ascent so that um, there'll be no problem with um, the local going up so this is just one of the test ones I've done uh, it does stick because the, the rails weren't clean but he didn't manage it no problem whatsoever pretty pleased with that in this video you can see the uh, finished version um, I decided to do with plaster rather than uh, paper and glue paper and glue would take two or three days to dry the plaster dries within half an hour to an hour so um, this is where I finished with all the plastering done right up and to the curve so um, next on the bit is a bit of painting right well today uh, the job is to get a bit of painting done so um, I'm going to start painting all this grey, the rock face there, and the back then it'll be green and grass that up. Um, and then that'll go all the way along at the back. Just paint it a bit brown, and then uh, there'll be trees and rocks on there. Um, and then this bit here, the track, then I'll paint um, paint brown just to hide the, the cork. And then I've still got to. Um, Put some mod rock on this bit. So lots to do, lots to get on with.
so it's finished the first coat of the what will be the grassed area there and the sides of the the track that will be covered with um, do a bit more scenics on there with different colours uh, darker grey uh, a few rocks lichen uh, moss and a couple of bushes and that takes us all the way up and around to this section and there'll be trees at the back there and onto the little raised area coming up here so um, gotta wait for all that to dry um, and I've also then done the same on the inside part over here I don't know if you can see that um, holding the camera at an awkward angle but that's now all done first coat on there as well that goes all the way down to the bottom there and then this side then I've got to do the same there I'm going to put a wall here to stop the, the rock was running off and then this bit I'm thinking I don't know but I'm thinking of creating a small beach area like Paul did in, uh, on his uh, railway only be a tiny one but I'm thinking about how I can make up some rocks to go there to make like a, a pier you see what I mean uh, breakwater I should say to run along there and that will go round to this part here so cracking on um, I'll see how we get on before I end this uh, session right so I've uh, got the grass on all the way up and into the corner I'm just waiting for it to dry off now before I hoover the excess up and then I've started doing a few touches in the corners there um, a few additions as you can see and then I start to put some rocks on just to change the outline of the shape of the the sides and I'm going to put some paper towel in between that glued paper towel just to get the edges flattened out a bit and then paint them over and then see where we go and I might add a few more on yet I don't know yet but that's what I'm doing for the next uh, hour or so is uh, gluing paper towels down and then when that's dry I'll paint it so keep on going I know this looks messy as anything but um, trust me when I'm finished with this this will come out really well uh, you just got a bit of patience keep pushing the, the glue water glue on and uh, wait for it to dry probably about two days to dry but it will make all the difference in between these layers of uh, mod rock Let's put some on there and then just push it in with the brush and uh, it'll create a nice little range of different shapes for me when I painted it it should look a lot more natural than just lumps of rock glued on that's the plan anyway As I say, proof is in the pudding, so you just have to wait until all this is done to see what it turns out like, which will probably be in the next video. So while all this was going on I decided to create a viaduct structure for the back bit so I printed off or I cut some card up first of all to the right size printed off the card um, cut it up 
I then worked out that one of my old viaducts that I used before I had one left over was exact height. So I glued that onto the two lengths of card to stiffen it up. <clears throat> and then that slotted nicely underneath the, um, the base. I then covered it with the cut, the sticky back uh, brick that I uh, printed off. Covered the whole part, fitted it in place, and then I added up the um, viaducts uh, curves, which I thought would show some sort of interest rather than just being a blank wall. Um, I didn't want arches. Um, that's the way I wanted it. I then relayed some cork down for the third and fourth rail. Um, I see in between various bits and jobs, waiting for things to dry. Thought I'd get ahead of myself. Right, so I'm going to end this video here. There's um, a great temptation to do too much scenics in one go because um, you want to keep going until it's finished, but you've got to give time to dry. Uh, I found this out on the first build. Um, and so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, finish here at this point. I'm just going to show you very quickly um, where I've got up to. Um, I've got the paper towels there drying, I've got the grass drying and I've got other bits of finishing drying over there. If I carry on with this now I'm going to mess it up so I'm going to leave it where it is um, for now and basically I'm going to sit back enjoy my coffee, have a tidy up and then uh, I'm out tonight and I'll probably publish this video over the weekend. So for now uh, thank you for watching, Dale and Vaur. Look after yourselves.